In ancient times, the Euphrates, the most vast river of those days, witnessed historical events and guarded mysteries that transcended human understanding. Nonetheless, over the years, a terrible misfortune has afflicted this once grandiose and majestic river. It has been gradually drying up, causing many people to suffer from a lack of water, a precious commodity that has always generously flowed through its channels. Even more concerning, the countries watered by the Euphrates seem to show indifference to such calamity, and in some cases, even take measures that hinder the river's recovery. What if I told you that this drought is not only an alarming environmental crisis but also a fulfillment of prophecies about the end times? In this video, I will explore how the Book of Revelation unveils the fate of the Euphrates, tied to Armageddon, the ultimate confrontation between Jesus Christ, Satan, and his demons. Is the river's aridity a harbinger of the imminent appearance of the Antichrist? What will be the fate of humanity if the Euphrates perishes? According to the book of Genesis, chapter 2, the Euphrates was one of the rivers that irrigated the Garden of Eden, the place where God created Adam, Eve, and all creatures. In Genesis chapter 15, God also mentioned this river as one of the boundaries of the land promised to Abraham's descendants. The Lord spoke that day and sealed a covenant with Abraham and his offspring, granting them the land from the brook of Egypt to the great river Euphrates. This river, originating in the lands of Turkey, crosses the nations of Syria and Iraq before emptying into the Persian Gulf waters. With a length of 2,700 kilometers, the Euphrates is the main source of drinking water for millions of inhabitants in three different countries. Its waters are vital for irrigating fields and for generating electricity and hydroelectric plants, providing benefits to more than a million families. Nevertheless, what was once a flourishing and fertile region is now plagued by fear and uncertainty as the main source of water is vanishing. Iranian authorities have reported that in the last three years, the rainy season in the region has started later and ended earlier, resulting in a drastic decrease in the river's water volume. In some places, the riverbed has already completely dried up. Recently, demonic noises have been heard in an area where the Euphrates once flowed, sowing terror among many people. Some theories suggest that these sounds are related to the four fallen angels that God imprisoned, and who will be released when the prophecy of Revelation chapter 9 is fulfilled. Besides climatic issues, a group of scientists asserts that the mismanagement of water policies by the governments of the countries bathed by the Euphrates also contributes to the decrease in the river's water volume. However, according to the Holy Scriptures, it is precisely with the disappearance of the river that the Armageddon prophecy will be fulfilled. In Revelation chapter 16, it is revealed that the sixth angel will pour out his bowl on the great Euphrates River, and its waters will dry up to make way for the kings from the east. Evil spirits, similar to frogs and which are in fact demonic spirits, will mobilize the leaders of the entire world for the final battle against God's army. The Bible also tells that the four angels bound by the Euphrates River will be released to exterminate a third of humanity. This suggests that the desertification process of the Euphrates, which began 35 years ago and is accelerating, is an omen of the end times. The spirit of the Antichrist is already operating in the hearts of people, preparing the ground for his advent. The Apostle John wrote that we can identify the Spirit of God by confessing that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Any spirit that does not confess Jesus does not come from God, this is the spirit of the Antichrist. This spirit is already present in the world, so it is fundamental to remain vigilant. Therefore, it is of utmost importance to stay alert to the signs of the times and to the presence of the spirit of the Antichrist as described in the scriptures, while we await the events that will lead to the rapture of the Church of Christ. 
Everything that is happening today before our eyes, including the disappearance of the Euphrates River and the signs associated with the Antichrist and Armageddon, is part of the culmination of events prophesied in the Bible. We need not fear the Antichrist or the Battle of Armageddon, as the Word of God assures us that Jesus will win the war against the enemy and cast him into the lake of fire, where he will be tormented eternally. While these ideas might be fearful, faith in Jesus Christ will shield us on Judgment Day and lead us to live eternally by His side in the New Jerusalem, where there will be no fear, pain, death, or tears. We should not be anxious about when these events will occur, but on which side we will find ourselves when they do. The scriptures clearly warn us of the arrival of a man who will hold unparalleled power and seduce many. This man, known as the Antichrist, will receive his power from Satan and will rebel against God. His desire is to take God's place and proclaim himself God. The passage from Isaiah chapter 14 also describes the fall of Satan, who aspired to exalt himself above God. This entire narrative is tied to rebellion and the pursuit of power against God. The precise moment of these events is unknown, but it is crucial to remain vigilant, strengthen our faith in Jesus Christ, and live according to the teachings of the scriptures to be prepared when these events occur. A daily walk with God and the study of His Word are ways to spiritually strengthen ourselves and be ready to face any challenges that may arise. Whether the Antichrist has already been born and is awaiting the fulfillment of the biblical prophecies to be announced is a matter of theological speculation. There is no consensus on the birth and identity of the Antichrist as scholars and theologians tend to interpret biblical prophecies in various ways. The Antichrist is perceived as an evil leader who will oppose God and proclaim himself as God. Speculation about the birth and identity of the Antichrist is a complex matter, often based on interpretations of current events in light of biblical prophecies. However, the Bible also instructs us to be alert and prepared for the coming of the Lord, regardless of when or how these events will occur. The Christian faith teaches that, regardless of the time or circumstances, we should remain steadfast in our faith in Jesus Christ and live according to the principles and teachings of the Bible. Instead of trying to identify the specific figure of the Antichrist, it is more relevant to focus on the personal relationship with God and the fulfillment of the commandments and designs. Biblical prophecies about the end times constitute a complex area of study and interpretation, and different Christian traditions have varying approaches to these matters. It is essential to seek spiritual guidance and study the scriptures to develop a deeper understanding of these topics. It is important to remember that these matters involve theological interpretations and can vary according to different Christian beliefs and denominations. Nonetheless, regardless of individual beliefs about end-time events, maintaining faith in Jesus Christ and living in accordance with His teachings is the consistent call for all Christians. Don't forget to share this valuable information with your loved ones. May God bless you and see you next time.